So let's talk about state. State usually refers to the state of a system. Now in introductory chemistry, you probably talked about states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas, and that's one component of the state of an equilibrium system in equilibrium thermodynamics. But more importantly, the equilibrium state of a system is described by various state variables, and a part of thermodynamics is specifying these state variables. Let's uh, recall again from our introductory chemistry experience, uh, suppose we have here an ideal gas and we could specify, you know, if you look at states of matter, this will be the gaseous state of matter. But when we talk about thermodynamic state, we can specify what state this is in by specifying the state variables. Now, uh, for an ideal gas, maybe you remember the state variables are P, V, T, and N pressure, volume, temperature, and number of moles. There's a relationship between these two as called the state equation or uh, more uh, generally or more familiarly it's called equation of state. So the equation of state for an ideal gas is PV is nRT. So thermodynamics, this equilibrium thermodynamics has, this is a system here, it's an ideal gas, and we're describing the state of that system by these three variables, or these three, these four variables, and there's an equation of state that relates those four variables. The variables often occur in natural intensive extensive pairs. Now maybe uh, you remember from introductory chemistry, maybe not, what intensive and extensive is. So let's go back and review that. An intensive variable, intensive variable uh, does not depend, can't spell here, on amount. An extensive variable, on the other hand, it does depend, I have to take handwriting lessons also, amount. All right, so let's look at some of these variables, these state variables for an ideal gas. Let's look at, say, pressure. Is pressure an intensive or extensive variable? Well, this is what I uh, typically use in order to determine whether something is intensive or extensive. Suppose you have, say, an ideal gas, and this is at a particular pressure. You then clone that ideal gas system, and now you have an exact replica of that. Then you remove this barrier here. Is the pressure the same or not? The pressure is the same. So that means that pressure is an intensive variable. Let's do the same for volume. Let's take an ideal gas. It has a particular volume. And let's clone that system, exact duplicate. And now let's remove this partition. The volume, sorry, the volume has doubled. So that implies that the volume is an extensive variable. OK, so we have extensive and intensive variable pairs, and there are natural variable pairs. Uh, one way to look at this, and when we talk about equilibrium thermodynamics and equilibrium more precisely later on, the intensive variable can be viewed as a potential, and the extensive variable can be used as amount. And these natural pairs, when you uh, multiply these together, you get energy. So let's look at some uh, things here. This might be too small if you're looking at this on a um, iPad or even on your phone. So let me, this is pressure here. Now I should usually probably use any color black or blue, black maybe. So this is pressure and this is volume. Those are two naturally occurring intensive extensive variable pairs. Pressure is intensive, volume is extensive, and so when you multiply these two together, you'll get energy. Let's look at this. Here's force. That's an intensive variable. Here's length. That's an extensive variable. Remember from introductory physics, if you multiply force times length, you get energy. Oh, here's something uh, perhaps new. We have electric potential and we have charge, E. That's electronic charge. So here you have potential and here you have charge. 
and you multiply those together. If you move a charge through a potential, you do work or energy. Oh, here's something even cooler. We talk about electric potential when you have charges moving through some potential. Here's a chemical potential and here's the number of moles. That's a natural intensive extensive variable pair and you multiply those two together you get energy. So if you remove, this is sort of abstract now but we'll talk about it more detail later, if you remove a certain number of moles through a chemical potential you're going to do work or energy. And here's even cooler. This is temperature What's, that's an intensive variable. If you take two systems at the same temperature, you put them together, you'll still have the same temperature. What's the extensive variable that goes along with that? Is entropy. Entropy, maybe you remember from introductory chemistry, it has to do with heat uh, transfer from one place to another, or it has to do with probability of having a certain state. But in equilibrium thermodynamics, temperature and entropy are naturally occurring pairs and you multiply these two together you get energy.